In the next program, we are going to count alphabets, digits and symbols from a given string. So in this program, I am going to use three variables, alphabets, digits and symbols all initialized to zero because these three variables will be used for maintaining count of characters. We are going to use star s as the string. So here I am asking user to enter string. Then this for loop is to loop through that string till we reach slash zero character. And inside of this for loop, I am going to check whether the current character is between capital A and Z or small a and small z. So if either of the condition is true, then alphabet plus plus will be executed. If both are false, that means the current character is either a digit or a symbol. So that we will check in the next else if statement. We will check whether it is a digit. So we are checking current character greater than or equal to character value 0 or it is less than or equal to character value 9. If this condition is true, we are going to increase digits by 1 and else if this condition is also false that means the current character was a symbol so we will increment symbols by one so these conditions will be tested for all the characters which are present in our string so when current character is a null character this for loop will be completed and at the end of the for loop we will have count of alphabets digits and symbols so that we will print using these printf statements